I would say that this is a, a really great honor. This may even be my life's goal uh, as the ultimate way of contributing to uh, our motherland. This is now extending to be able to cover a whole, you know, realistic and a perspective of the country's development, uh, which is important uh, for just also how I could utilize my networks and being able to broadcast many of these important messages uh, back to our community in Hong Kong, letting them uh, having a first-hand understanding about uh, the national policies and the future development of our country. The Greater Bay Area uh, topic and also how Hong Kong is going to make a major uh, contribution and play its role would be one of the key topics you know that I would be paying attention on. We can pull the synergies between Hong Kong and uh, the other GBA cities together, uh, capitalizing on the strengths and the expertise of Hong Kong, especially in the areas of international uh, relations in terms of uh, being able to attract also overseas investors and uh, being that uh, really strong intermediary link uh, to help also other cities in their own developments. We are looking at already a very good start. Um, it's only been just uh, one and a half month since the announcement of the reopening of the border. It, we're talking about a massive uh, volume of traveling uh, on a, even going back to the, uh, the, the norm. Uh, so it will take time to organize the, all the respective logistics. In fact, I can see that already since March, uh, coming up uh, with some of the major events that are going to be in place, uh, like the Art Basel that is going to happen. Uh, I, I, I reckon uh, that there are already quite a lot of responses uh, about this year's uh, event. We have now our Palace Museum and we have very robust programs that are going to be on offer. Uh, so I think Hong Kong will very quickly, you know, go back to the, uh, in fact, a new norm uh, of basically spearheading, you know, how international uh, city it is uh, that it could attract a lot of people to come. We, this family of, you know, ha have, have always treasured how the country, even though when before the return of sovereignty, have been able to supply to both Hong Kong and Macau, you know, the very needed and necessary support, especially during the, you know, the most challenging days. My, I can recall, you know, listening to, from my grandparents and then my parents, you know, always we talk about how important that we have our Chinese history, that we have our country. I think patriotism, especially now, uh, we have witnessed how important it is to, to actually anchor and strengthen uh, a city or a place like Hong Kong and Macau. Without, you know, our country, our motherland, we will be very easily uh, swayed. We are vulnerable because then, you know, why should we actually even develop out the city? Uh, and who is the person or who is the you know, entity that is going to assure that we will go on you know, with the, the right level of um, kind of harmony. So I think being able to bring in clarity on the fact that patriotism actually is going to be the major anchor on a successful implementation of one country, two systems is very important. Um, it will help the whole community to now have a concerted effort and also, you know, the right direction where we can all steer, you know, in an effort to ensure that we ourselves will fend for our own uh, safety, our own security and our own uh, harmony and stability, which are all important aspects towards economic development 
and also you know social kind of um, coexistence. We can see even during COVID, you know, we the country has grown. Um, we still have registered positive uh, GDP growth, especially in the southern part of China. Again, you know, it goes to demonstrate the the kind of conviction uh, our country has and the foresight that 45 years ago, you know, our country, um, the party had decided that this is the direction and the route the country will follow on. And indeed, we have demonstrated to the rest of the world, not only could we succeed, but we did that beyond anybody's expectations.